Hey guys, Johnny here from TechMajesty.com. Today I'll be showing you how to set up the Touch ID and the passcode on your iPad Mini 6. So the first thing we will do is go to Settings. After we go to Settings, we will scroll down to Touch ID and Passcode. And then from there, I will show you how to turn the passcode on first, and then we will move on to the Touch ID portion. So let's go ahead and click on Turn Passcode On. Click on Passcode Options. This will give you three different options for the passcode. First option, custom alphanumeric code. So basically that means you will have alphabets and numbers for your passcode. Second option is custom numeric code. You have up to six digits to put in as your passcode. And then the third option, four digit numeric code is a four digit numeric password. So we will go ahead and choose option number two. Alrighty, so the passcode has been set. Let's test it out. And that's how it's going to look. There you go. Alrighty, so let's go back to settings. Touch ID and passcode. You only need to enter your passcode again. Okay, and from there, you can go ahead and click on add a fingerprint to set up both your Touch ID now your passcode has already been set. I do highly recommend that you have both the passcode and the fingerprint touch ID on. That gives you double the safety. So let's go ahead and click on add a fingerprint. So we will go ahead and put our finger right there and you can see the iPad is taking note of your fingerprint right there. You keep doing that until it completely fills in. And I'm simply tapping my finger on the button. Now we're going to go ahead and do the edge of the finger. Alrighty, it's complete. Continue. And now the Touch ID has been set. So let's test it out. Simply place your finger and it opens right up. So guys, it's as simple as that to set up the Touch ID and the passcode on your iPad Mini 6. If the video was useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel because it really helps us out. We appreciate it guys and if you have any questions please leave them down in the comment section below and see you on the next one.